All right, what's up everybody? Tools in Action. Today, we're going over the Power Horse pressure washer. Uh, like every six months, I get excited when the Northern Tool catalog comes. It's basically a thick, hard-covered catalog that has all of Northern Tool's latest and greatest uh, items for sale. And uh, I actually just saw they redid their pressure washers, so we got one. This is a Power Horse 3000 PSI, 2.5 gallon per minute pressure washer. Gotta say, Never heard of Power Horse. Uh, when I first got it, I was a little skeptical. Uh, you know, obviously you are when you... Are you listening to me? Oh, I'm listening to you. You're skeptical. You're skeptical. When you get brands you never heard of, you don't know. Is it just Chinese branded, whatever, da 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 Well, I gotta say, when this thing arrived, just putting it together, it's quality, and the performance of it is top-notch. And I brought it here for Eric to use today. He's using it on the barn here. And, uh, shed. The shed. And, uh... You know, he's Mr. He loves that little Royobi with the Honda engine, which is actually 3,100 PSI. So I bought him the powerhouse. What do you think? Power it, horse. Power Sorry. horse. It's nice. I like it. It's powerful. My biggest thing that I really like about it is this is, I like the brass. It's nice thick brass. It's quality. But I love the fact that you can dial down the pressure. Right. That's perfect because she, with the Royobi is nice, but it's 3,100. That's what you get. You know? Right. And when I do stuff like when I did the patio i can use 31 dial it down a little bit. this is nice because we can dial it down i guess you know start off small and got a little bit more uh, psi in there got it perfect right yeah direct drive axial pump um with like eric said the uh, i know generic has the uh, generic one or whatever where you turn up the pressure this is pretty much the same thing like you know when he was over here we dialed it down a little bit the pump on this is an, an industrial i mean this is definitely meant for industrial but it's it's priced right i think it's around 350 dollars just the entry level power horse unit that's not bad at all and it starts up every single time we fired it up it's, yeah it's, it fires, it up, fires up right it did hick up i mean honestly i gotta say i'm really impressed with this unit i never thought i would be but I'm really highly impressed. Two things that I just don't like though is that it only comes with two nozzles. I would like to just see, you know, all five nozzles. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, I mean, you could go get those, but it's just, you know, hey, why didn't well, you? Why, if you buy them? the whole package, just throw them yeah, in there. Yeah, just throw you them just in there so I don't have to make a second purchase. Um, but, and the second thing is this dipstick up here. Uh, it's not that I really don't like it, but you need to just uh, pay attention to the owner's manual. Uh, basically, to check the oil, this dipstick comes off, and then you have to this breather tube comes off and then you stick the, stick the dipstick in to get your reading. I didn't oh, know so that. Oh, so you can't just pull it out because you're reading it now. No, you can't read it now. You have to actually take it apart. So that's kind of, Is it know. easy to take apart and check? Well, yeah, it's just a wrench, you know. You okay. just wrench it out. So those are the only two issues that I noticed with it. Uh, Honda gas, or not Honda gas tank, metal gas tank, but it's got like a Honda GX style motor, auto, style, or auto shut off if uh, your low uh, oil level comes into play. I don't know, man. It's just 25 foot cord. 25 foot hose. I mean, that's okay. You know, I'm not gonna write home about the hose. But I always like to see 50s. But you know, just the design of it, the way it's sitting there. I mean, the, I like I the nice big tires too. Yeah, you nice know, big industrial they air, in there, air tires. You know, yeah. So it, you can go over stuff. And I just feel like you know. I don't know. It's just a quality pressure washer. I could totally see this on a job site. It's really not as loud as I thought it would no. be, too. I mean, you can hear it, obviously, but yeah. it's not. I thought it would be a lot louder. Right. So we're going to have a write-up on this on Tools in Action. We're going to have all the warranty information and all that good stuff. But uh, definitely, you know, we've done some Northern Tool stuff before. We did a video on the uh, sprayer. sprayer, which I just used the other day and still working awesome, the North Star Sprayer. So, uh, you know, I love Northern Tool. Don't forget to go ahead and check out toolsinaction.com. Don't forget to check out Northern Tool. And don't forget, you know, I definitely recommend this. What do you think? Yeah, you know what? For I a no like, name, I recommend it. Yeah. It's, and I mean, it's not... the price. Right. The price. Right. And it's not that it's a no name. It actually is Northern Tool's brand. But, you know, I'm not too familiar with Power Horse. No. But, man. It's not one you can go pick up at, like, a big box store No. Or you're going to get this from Northern Tool. It's going to get shipped to you. I don't know if they have stores. I'm not sure. Man, if they had stores, I'd be broke. I would, yeah, they got to have a store somewhere, I would you think. think? This is unfortunately not around here. Yeah, we're in Illinois. Nobody wants to do business in no, Illinois. No. So, pretty good unit. I mean, definitely recommended by Tools in Action. Go ahead and check it out. And don't forget to check out the article on Tools in Action. Which would